Hello, welcome to busyping.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple internet connections on the same computer simultaneously by telling your applications to use a specific network connection. First of all, what do I mean by having multiple internet connections on the same computer? And why do I really need it? Uh, let's say you have a broadband internet connection at home uh, through a DSL internet or a cable internet and you connect to the broadband internet through Wi-Fi or maybe a regular LAN cable. You may also have a 3G USB modem and you can plug it in and connect to the internet. Now when you open a web browser or email client like Outlook or any other application that requires internet connection, which connection do these applications use? Will it use a broadband or will it use a 3G USB modem? Uh, well, by default, you don't have control over it. It is decided by the operating system based on various parameters. But in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to force an application to use a specific network adapter. Sounds cool? Okay, let's get started. First, open this link, http colon slash old r1ch.net slash stuff slash force bind IP on your web browser. Now, you can find this link in the description of this video. So you don't have to remember this. Then scroll down to the bottom and you will see this option forcebind ip-1.2a.zip, dash zip the second option, not the first one. Just click on it and it'll download this tool called forcebind ip. Now right click that and unzip it here. And you will see two files here, bind ip.dll and forcebind ip. Now what you need to do is copy both these files and put it in C Windows System 32 folder. Okay, that is it. Uh, it doesn't require any kind of installation. So we are good to go. Now before we proceed any further, let me show you how to find the list of network interfaces or adapters that, you're, that you have on your computer. So to do that, just um, push Windows R and you will get this run window and type this command ncpa.cpl and hit enter. Here you can see the list of network adapters. So on my computer I have uh, two network adapters, local area connection one and local area connection two. To find the IP address of these adapters, just double click on the adapter and you'll see details, click details and you'll should see the IP address which is 10.0.0.39. Then I can do the same thing for local area connection 2 and the IP address here is 192.160.1.4. So let me make a note of that. So for my local, for my network adapter named uh, local area connection 1, the IP address is 10.0.0.39 and for my adapter named local area connection 2, the IP address is 192.168.1.4. Okay, now let's say I want to have Internet Explorer to connect through this network adapter, which is local area connection one uh, with IP address 10.0.0.39. And let's say I want to have Google Chrome to connect through this network adapter, which is um, local area connection two with the IP address 192.168.1.4. So what I will do is, um, oops, it's Google. All right, so I'll click start, type CMD, and right click, run as administrator, click yes. And you see here that the prompt is already at uh, C Windows System 32, which is where we have placed those two files, forcebindip.exe and bindip.dll. In case if the prompt is not here, if it's not at C Windows System 32, all you need to do is type CD, C colon, Windows System 32, and hit enter and you will automatically get the prompt here. Let's see Windows System 32. All right, so when you're this prompt, just type force bind ip.exe. You can just type force b and hit tab and it'll automatically fill in. So it's force bind ip.exe space dash i space the IP address of the network adapter, which is 10.0.0.39. So just 10.0.0.39 space the full path to this application, Internet Explorer. So it is the C program files. And one more thing, you have to give it within double quotes because 
you have a space between program and files. So you have to give it within double quote slash Internet Explorer slash iExplore.exe and hit enter. Internet Explorer will open up and it is connected through this network adapter now. Next, you I, I want to open Google Chrome and connect through this network adapter. So it is forcebindip.exe space dash i space 192.168.1.4 c program files google slash chrome slash application slash chrome.exe and Chrome is opened and it is connected through this network adapter which is 192.168.1.4 now how do you confirm if it is indeed connecting through the network adapters that you want it to? It's very simple. Just type what is my IP.com on both the browsers. And you will see the public IP address of uh, these two ISPs. So if you see the public IP address, it's here it shows 117.193 and here it's 113.193 which are from two different ISPs, right? Now, if you see here, the ISP name is given as Tikona Digital Networks, which is true. And here, the ISP name is given as Broadband Multiplayer Project. It's actually my ISP is, my ISP is BSNL, but for some reason, what is my IP is not detecting the right ISP name. But that's fine. You can see, anyway, they are connected through different ISPs, right? So if you actually download um, a file using Google Chrome, uh, it will not impact the bandwidth of any game or something that you're doing on uh, Internet Explorer. Now you can do the same thing for any network applications. Um, this force band IB works for most of the network applications. So you can do it for even for Google, for uTorrent. So what you need to do is for uTorrent, just type uh, force bind ip.exe place dash i and let's say I want to use the f first network adapter which is 10.0.0.39 um, now how do I find the path for uTorrent or how do I find the path for any application for that matter just right click the icon of that application click properties and you will see target so all you need to do is copy this entire path right click before that, just put a double quote, right click paste and close the double quote, click OK and that is it. uTorrent is open through, open and connected through this network adapter. So this is how you can use uh, multiple internet connections. Uh, I hope this video was informative and uh, thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.